Well, all good things must come to an end. That's what some are saying about that camper in the Ohio River. Others may be a little more annoyed by it all. As river levels continue to rise, the camper continues to sink. For more on the Tri-State Camper Caper, we go to Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey, who's live along the river with the latest for us. Cody? That's right, Shelly. The camper is situated behind me just barely. Within the last hour, we're starting to see, again, that trend continue slowly sinking deeper and deeper. And from our vantage point here at Marina Point, we're really only seeing the, the top of the roof as well. So that trend will continue as the sand washes away. And what was a beach full of memories over the past week is slowly fading away, nearly washed clean. But surely the residents in the Evansville area will continue to talk about the Tri-State Camper Caper for many days and weeks to come. Yeah, it's going to say I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The difference one week makes. Residents like Don Shank came to witness the final hours of the slowly sinking Tri-State Camper Caper. I think this is some guy's ideal of a gag that's gone bad. Yeah, especially if they catch him and who knows what the Army Corps engineers will do to him. Yeah. What could happen ranges from possible fines to potential jail time, according to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. This comes with fears of a potential hazard to other boats posed by the camper. It's been amusing to watch, but uh, and now it's not so amusing. They need to get that thing out of the river, but I don't know that they will. I think it's almost too late. Ernie and Sharon Hicks were some of many witnesses to the sinking camper, even making shirts to commemorate this summer's sandbar spectacular. Whenever they've uh, had the channel pumped out in the past, we've made t-shirts for our friends. We've done this seven or eight, nine times maybe. Despite the fun, Hicks says he also fears of the hazards, with some witnesses telling us a generator and air conditioning unit were aboard the camper and could add another layer of concern. Well, you know, not only a, a danger of a boat striking the debris, but yeah, there could be some chemical contamination, absolutely. But with the camper going under, it seems not much can be done. Hopefully, maybe they'll mark it and be able to haul out the, the frame before it damages somebody's boat, but only time will tell. While some are eager for the next prank, others, like Shank, say the risk is not worth the reward. If, if he gets fined, I'm sure there'll be a lesson learned then. Yeah. But it's just... And we do know that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, they are uh, keeping a very close watch on this. I did check with them a couple of hours ago. They say they are monitoring along with the U.S. Coast Guard about the status of this, whether it warrants a recovery effort from them, if they will let it sink or float away. Uh, they're also monitoring to see if this will impede any of the navigational channels moving forward. That could lead to some of those harsher penalties. And as they mentioned, the possibility, too, of jail time for the responsible party. Reporting live along the Ohio River, Cody Bailey. Eyewitness News.